Mm-hmm. Um, when I was first learning how to practice stoicism, it was in a vacuum. Uh, Mm -hmm. Pretty much literally. I had no idea that anybody was really interested in stoicism at all, anywhere. I didn't look into any kind of groups or anything because I thought that it was an obscure thing. Mm. Um, And it was just something that I was trying to see if it would work because I wasn't happy with my circumstances, what was going on with my life, and so on. And uh, all I really had to go off of was um, the handbook of... uh, the Enchiridion, hmm. um, which is like a short form of the discourses. You know from who? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Won't shut up about him. Yeah. <laughs> um, the it was extraordinarily difficult to start practicing uh, because there's, as you probably notice, and many people that are listening, there's no road map. There's no uh, stoic teachers. Uh, like like teachers in the sense as they existed like 2000 years ago hmm. um, there's a lot of talk about its usefulness a lot of writings about its usefulness um, writings about how to apply it um, hmm. in certain circumstances articles and and all that um, but as to where you start like like point a like what is point a yeah it's it's trying to find something I would recommend in the the older ancient texts and the translations that that seem to be the most readable to you trying to identify something that you are struggling with in general not just Hmm. in your in your occupation although it's probably related to it in some Hmm. way and to try to say to yourself what would it be like if i actually believed that Hmm. and i'm going to try to behave as if i believe that um what like every every day or so Mm. i'll try to remember a specific phrase something that's easily digestible and if that situation comes up during the day in my job at home over a phone call whatever i'm going to try to tell myself that phrase and then say to myself i'm going to try to apply that here and i'm going to try to envision myself approaching the situation that way Hmm. um that is where it starts uh eventually once you get into that habit of trying to isolate a phrase trying to reread it a number of times and apply it to the situations that it seems Hmm. to apply to you'll just develop the habit of doing that with the other things that you read um so that's that's how i got to uh the example that i gave before where You're in appearance and you're not necessarily what you seem to be. Um, Mm. This situation is only going to be confined to this moment. And in a week or two, I might not even remember it. If it's something Mm. trivial, if it seems that the proposition is telling me that this thing is bad because this person um, said this thing about me, am I really going to recall that Mm. within a few weeks? Um, And other examples. So it, it all starts at a trying to develop the habit. 